Leader Burke, uh, really one question, I think. What is the number one reason that, that you want to change these taxes that are collected? What's, what's the driving reason there? Well, I think these are in response to um, uh, various, uh, various uh, factors. Um, you know, this is a bill that is uh, supported by the Illinois Municipal League. Um, these are uh, asks that have been made of the Municipal League, obviously for the, uh, in particular for the one that pertains to Chicago and to Sangamon County, those are local initiatives. Yeah, so the short answer would be local control, to restore local control to some of these taxes. Would you agree with that statement? Uh, that's a fair statement. Okay, thank you. And, and to the bill, and, and Madam Speaker, I may ask for some additional time because I want to kind of complete this statement if it's okay, and it, it'll be brief. I I'm just continue to be amazed about how folks in this chamber and in the other chamber are all about local control until they're not about local control. Um, five years ago, this chamber voted to take away local control from townships when it concerned um, wind and solar siding. And then just a year ago, January, in the lame duck, uh, this building, the, the members of this building in the House and the Senate voted to take local control away from counties uh, when it comes to wind and solar siding. So I'm just kind of curious how, again, we prioritize when we're for these things and when we're against these things. Uh, over the years, several of my colleagues have been calling for the elimination of the grocery uh, tax. Unfortunately, the majority party and the governor absolutely refused to do anything in this building the right way. Instead of giving us a clean... Will anyone yield his time? Instead of, giving, instead of giving us a clean single issue Order. tax cut, they give us HB 3144. This bill is full of taxpayer abuse. HB 3144 removes the protections for local taxpayers by allo allowing local governments to tax them on merchandise without the, without the permission in a referendum. This means the state is giving permission to local governments to go behind the backs of the taxpayers and pass tax increases way above what they are paying now on the grocery tax. There is no excuse for the House of Representatives to be eliminating protections for local taxpayers just so the governor can tout a political victory for his grocery tax. Of the, on top of these issues, there is a direct tax increase to the hotel industry, a 911 surcharge to Chicago, on and on and on, all wrapped up in HB 3144. This is just ridiculous. We support cutting a grocery tax. We also support um, protecting local taxpayers from Springfield taking away their vote. Thank you and vote no.